Hey everybody, Healthy Prepper here with a funny couponing story um, at Walmart today. I went in there with um, some coupons I wanted to use up. I had the $5 off of any two Almay product ones. And these um, Almay products, this is the eye makeup remover, was only $1.14 at the Walmart. So I figured if I get those two, I had three of those coupons, if I get... Um, those I can use the overage on some of the other products I wanted to get and I, I did pick up some food and things like that as well. So then I went I had some buy one get one freeze on the Sally Hardis nails. I had three of those and I had a buy one get one free coupon on the Insta Dry, Sally Hansen Insta Dry. And uh, these were all printable coupons. And so I go to my checkout, put all the stuff up, it gets all checked through and then I hand the coupons and I'm like, okay, here we go. See how it goes today. And um, the gentleman swipes the first coupon, and I thought it made a normal coupon sound, but he looked at it, and he looked at me, he looked at the coupon, and he looked at the screen, he looked at the coupon, and he looked at his screen, and he said, I have to go get a manager for an approval on this. And I thought he was saying he had to get a manager for an approval on these coupons because there was going to be overage involved, and these there wasn't any overage, um, but apparently not, and... The odd thing was, he was gone for almost 30 minutes, and I'm waiting, and I'm always, I'm already like halfway through the transaction. I can't leave. He's got my coupons. You know, I'm kind of stuck there. Finally, the cashier next door says, where'd the guy go? And I said, I don't know. He said he went to get a manager's approval on a coupon, and he hasn't come back. And, uh, but I, I did actually see my cashier bouncing around between customer service and a very far off um, checkout uh, lane and I thought maybe he was waiting for somebody or trying to find somebody or what the deal was but he looked actively lost but anyway and I, I know he's been there for years I've seen the guy in there forever so anyway waiting waiting I'm, I'm shushing away lots of people who were piling up behind me I'm saying listen this guy's been gone forever you might want to try another line and uh, the cashier is confirming yeah try another line and she actually closed but then decided to reopen her line all of a sudden she, the second cashier the one next door to me blew a gasket she said this is crazy. You've been standing there for 30 minutes and you, you've been sitting here halfway through your checkout and nobody's checking you out. This isn't right. Somebody help this woman. She starts literally screaming at the top of her lungs. It was the weirdest thing. And all of a sudden, all these blue shirt, I want to call them manager executive types, started to swarm in all around the, the checkout where I, I was standing. And I'm like, oh my God, something's going down here. What is it? Did I, did I like break some major Walmart rule? Did I use a coupon I shouldn't have? What's going on? And uh, all of a sudden I see my cashier and a, what looks like a manager coming back and they walk by me, didn't say a word to me. They walk by me, they go right to the, um, the register and the manager is looking at the coupon and she's looking at the receipt and she goes, but she has that product, it's right there. And she waves the coupon, it goes through, and she takes the rest of the coupons, and they all go through without a hook, and, uh, or without a catch. <laughs> and uh, she looks at him, and she said, they're all fine. And I said, and by this time, listen, you have to remember, this is like half an hour later, nobody has said a word to me. All these other, like, manager types swarming in, one has got her, what I want to call a walkie-talkie, we have an a, a incident going on over here. We need an action plan immediately. An action plan immediately. A cash out, check out number 12. Every, you know, and I'm like, God, it sounds like a SWAT team coming down. The entire time, nobody spoke to me other than that one cashier at the next lane. It was the oddest thing. And so I figured my best uh, approach was don't freak out. Just see what happens. Uh, you don't want to be the troublemaker because I go to Walmart all the time. So uh, anyway, they just checked me. Or she, he said, uh, you're all set to go. So I just grabbed my bags, loaded them in, and walked out. It was the strangest thing. Never had that happen before. Nobody explained to me what was up. Nobody apologized for the eternal wait um, or even just acknowledged, you know, hey, sorry, we had to wait so long. We had to double check on this before we could pass it or something. It was just really, really weird. And then the action plan, God forbid. I, I kind of looked over my shoulder as I was leaving, and they were all swarming around the cashier and the manager up there. And, boy, I don't know what happened, but I just wouldn't want to be one of those two people. And I felt like, for some reason, I was let go out of the... I just disappeared into the mist, which was fine with me. So anyway, that was my kooky story at Walmart today. You never know. Happy and healthy prepping, everybody. <laughs>